Pro. Hello and welcome to another tutorial with me, Mike Smith. Um, today we're going to um, show you how to record audio into Cubase. Uh, this instance I'm going to record a bass guitar. It's going to be me playing so you'll have to excuse the really bad bass guitar playing. Um, so yeah, let's get started. First of all we need to uh, create an audio track. So if we right click in this area, add audio track and we're going to have a count of one. Configuration is set to mono, we could have added stereo etc but we're going to stick to mono. Um, add track and there's our audio track. Let's name this bass guitar. Right, what we need to do now is F4 into our VST connections and on the inputs, what we're going to do now is tell Cubase uh, where the physical input is for the bass guitar. So if we click add bus, again, uh, we'll stick to mono, count of one, add bus. Now, what it does is automatically assigns it to a uh, audio input on my sound card. It's assigned it to mic and instrument one. Uh, that's what I've got my microphone into at the minute. So we need to change that. I'm gonna click to instrument two. There we go. That's that. Then if we go back here, highlight our channel. Now, as you can see here, it's automatically configured it and it's configured it wrong. So we need to click in here, make sure it's set to mono in. And then it's set to master there, which is the master output uh, within Cubase, which is fine. So records enabled. We need to press the monitor button so we can hear what's happening. I'll just get the guitar. There you go, you can see there we've got a nice, nice level. Obviously what you could do is adjust the level of your bass or the uh, gain input on the sound card. You need to make sure you've got a nice level, uh, probably about minus six sort of dB, uh, below digital zero uh, is a nice, nice hot signal. Maybe a bit less, a bit more, depending on, on the sound that you're after. So there you go, we're record enabled. We can hear what's happening. What I'm going to do now is uh, turn pre-count on. I'm not going to have a click. I'm just going to play the track and just play the bass back a little bit. There you go. Like I said, excuse the real bad bass playing. Uh, so there you can see we've got a nice, nice hot um, audio signal. Obviously, quantization might have been a little bit out, so which is fine if if it sounds right as it is. Leave it as it is. However, if we wanted, we can bring the uh, hit points back into play, like in a previous tutorial. Um, yeah, that should do it, that'll, that'll be fine. So, and what we can do now is quantize this audio. So now that it's selected, we've got the hit points. Sorry, I actually needed to create warp markers. There we go. So now I'll go to a 16th setting, click quantize, and there you saw that just each individual little bass note move a little bit. Turn monitor off. So there you go, that, that's it. That's basically recording audio into Cubase 7. Of course, it didn't have to be a bass guitar. It could have been any guitar. It could have been a microphone, a vocalist, um, any any audio really for, from any, any source. So that's basically it. Like I said, if you've got any questions, don't forget to get in touch. And of course, you can always subscribe to my channel. So until next time, bye bye. Well,